Hi everybody, I'm so excited to be here with you today. My name is Stephanie and I am a member of the Regional Clubs team at the Yale Alumni Association. And this is the first time ever that we have done Yale Alumni Live live on location. And how is Alaska for you for live location? I am here right now in Sitka, Alaska. And yes, we have a wonderful group of Yaleys here. We have Yale parents. Yale PhDs, Yale postdocs, Yale students who are here volunteering, and Yale alumni. So I am thrilled to be here in Sitka, Alaska, and over my shoulder, and not split screen, is my friend Frank Ecker, who is class of 2019, and he is living here in Sitka, Alaska, working for an organization called Outer Coast. So we're going to learn a little bit about Frank today, and then we're going to give you a tour of the Outer Coast and Sitka Fine Arts campus and give you a little view of what we see here in Sitka. It is the most beautiful place. I'm so excited. I don't really know the dynamic because I've never not had a split screen. So I'm <laughs> going to try and make sure that we have enough room for Frank to talk. But really excited to be here for Yale Alumni Live, live in person from Sitka, Alaska. So without further ado, I introduce my friend Frank, who is going to tell you his Yale story. So Frank, tell us a little bit about you know, your youth, where you grew up, and how you came to Yale before you got to Alaska. Over to you, bud. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I'm just glad to be here in corporeal form. Um, so yes, I, I'm Frank, uh, and I grew up in a small town in Colorado called Montrose um, in southwest Colorado. Um, and my Yale story, uh, well, growing up in Montrose, uh, it was not the sort of place that was sending folks to, to places like Yale, but I um, was really passionate about academics. I was really passionate about political organizing in my hometown, particularly on voter registration. Um, and so all of that was kind of sending me in the direction of more elite colleges. And just generally, I wanted the kind of academic environment where everyone else cared as much as I did about what I was studying. Yeah. Um, and uh, I wasn't always able to find that in my high school experience. And so um, Yale was a total dream school. Uh, I wrote my application the day before the deadline in like a flurry <laughs> of like, I love Yale so much, oh God, uh, and sent it off. Um, and then, uh, yeah, it was all just this this uh, dream of, of, of getting in and getting to go to to New Haven for four years. Um, so uh, yeah, I had, had an incredible time there. Um, ultimately, I went much further afield than political organizing and ended up here in Sitka doing something totally different. But um, that was how I ended up there. So I love yeah. it. I'm sure many of you can relate to that moment where you're frantically writing, I really want to do this, help me. <laughs> so, so Frank, I always ask everybody, like, tell us a little bit about your actual Yale experience, like your, your time on campus, maybe some of the favorite things that you did, your residential college, share with everybody kind of your, your Yale memory, if you will. Yeah, yeah. Um, some of the biggest touchstones in my time at Yale, uh, firstly, Saybrook College, absolutely. Say what? Uh, say what, Saybrook. <laughs> um, uh, oh my gosh. Uh, I, I really miss my time in Saybrook. I miss the dining hall in Saybrook uh, so much. Um, so that was a big part of my time at Yale. I was, uh, I was a foot leader, um, first year outdoor orientation trips, um, as well as involved in the outdoors, climbing team, um, kind of all of that, I think, uh, oriented me towards coming to Alaska for sure. Um, and then I was an environmental studies major, um, and I uh, actually wrote my thesis about the history of fly fishing in the Mountain West. Um, uh, that was kind of what my family grew up doing, and I, I became really interested in it in an academic context. Um, and then I was also in the education studies program, um, which is an amazing uh, multidisciplinary academic program at Yale were able to help me connect all the dots that I couldn't connect in other spaces. Um, and ultimately led me here to Sitka to work, um, to work in education. Um, I was really curious in college about how rural students like myself decide where to go to college um, and kind of what, the, what they see as the value of college or don't see as the value of college. Um, and then now get to, to work here in Sitka creating a college um, called, called Outer Coast. Um, so it all, all of the dots connect, uh, but it was a winding road. It's here, amazing so. how our journeys, like we don't realize it as it's unfolding, but then when it all kind of comes together, we're just like, oh, this makes perfect sense. Yeah, exactly. So there is something here in Sitka that has been present for a little while now, the uh, Alaska Fellows Program mm -hmm. through Yale, and it was called Bulldogs on Baranoff at one point. So Frank, you were involved with with that, right? Tell us a little bit about that program, if you would. Yeah, yeah. So I heard about the fellows program through um, through Foot originally, through some older mentors of mine in the Foot program. 
Um, and yeah, I was attracted to the Alaska Fellows Program uh, for a couple of reasons. I think mostly I was looking for a soft place to fall after college and to not lose what I found is like the biggest value of college, which is just to live in close proximity to people that you love and care about. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and so the Fellows Program essentially takes this kind of cohort-based service model um, and connects recent college graduates um, from around the country now and around the world um, with meaningful uh, nonprofit public sector jobs around Alaska, um, here in Sitka, as well as in Anchorage, uh, Juneau, and now Fairbanks. Um, and so, yeah, so my host organization through the Fellows Program was Outer Coast. Um, and so I uh, spent my first year out of college uh, as an Alaska Fellow here in Sitka working for Outer Coast. Um, and just didn't leave uh, like so many like so many folks who found their way to Alaska through the Fellows Program. Um, so um, it was an incredible year, and and it was really the kind of springboard into uh, into my time since then. So and we do we do think there is a Yale student here right now with Outer Coast, right? A recent graduate who's doing some work. Uh, a, f a fellow, but not at Outer Coast. Um, okay. Yes. Yeah. So. so there are Yaleys abound in Alaska. So if any of our current students or recent graduates are watching, this is an amazing place to come and get some work life experience. So I think what we're going to do, everybody, is Frank is going to give us a little tour of the campus and Alaska life. We're going to talk about it a little bit as we walk through. So this is the first time we've ever been in person. We are live in Sitka, and I'm going to flip the camera around, and Frank is going to show us around campus. So stick with us, and we're going to go on a walk. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, great. let's do it. Okay. So I'm going to show you guys where we are right now. We are in the, Frank, tell us what building we're in. Yeah, so we are in the smokestack building. Um, this used to be where all of the power on campus was generated, uh, but no longer. And now it is uh, kind of our, one of our main community gathering spaces at Outer Coast. Um, and I should just mention uh, Outer Coast, by way of introduction, is a project to establish a two-year liberal arts college here in Sitka um, for a small cohort of students really founded on uh, the three pillars of academics, service and labor, and self-governance. Um, and so. Uh, for our current cohort of students, uh, this is one of the main spaces that they gather for uh, everything from storytelling to community presentations to um, study sessions to our kayaks, our sea kayaks are kept over here, um, all sorts of things like that. So one of my favorite spaces on campus, absolutely. Yeah, this is a great room. We have been on campus here at Sitka for a couple days and I've had the chance to explore and one of the things we've learned is that it can rain at any moment. So you guys are getting a really authentic experience here. So we are on the campus of Sitka Fine Arts Center. Um, and I should just mention this was um, historically the Sheldon Jackson uh, campus which has um, served all sorts of roles in the Sitka community and, and was most recently the Sheldon Jackson Community College um, uh, and then after um, a number of things ultimately uh, came under the, the ownership of Sitka Fine Arts Camp in Alaska Arts Southeast. Um, and so ultimately, uh, Outer Coast will share this space with, with Sitka Fine Arts. But um, in the summer, this campus is abound with uh, country. Um, uh, yeah, this is Outer Coast in this moment. Um, and up there is uh, the, our main residential area on campus. Um, and yeah, we'll check that out. So if anybody's just joining us, we are alive in Sitka, Alaska, on the campus of Sitka Fine Arts and Outer Coast, where Frank Ecker, class of 2019, is currently working, and he's just showing us around this beautiful place. And don't worry, we have an amazing view to show you at the very end. So Frank, what do you, what do you like best about being here in Alaska as a non-native Alaskan? Yeah, yeah, sure. I, I think what I found really valuable about living in Alaska, I think, is the, uh, the attention to the place that we live in and the way in which the seasons and the place kind of connects this community. Um, so everything from working on a commercial fishing boat to uh, harvesting um, uh, salmon uh, and um, harvesting berries and foraging mushrooms, all of that kind of brings the community together and kind of structures the whole like cycle of, of yearly living in Sitka. Um, the community is so uh, interconnected and dependent on each other. And I think the, the landscape really kind of uh, enhances that. Yeah. Yeah, and this is, um, this is Sweetland Hall. This is our main residential area on campus. Um, 
there's a dining hall and student spaces and um, all sorts of things like that. Um, sort of, I'd say the center of gravity of campus is up here in a lot of ways. So. so we're just giving everybody like a nice view of this beautiful space and this wooded area over here. Anybody who's just watching, we are on the campus of the Sitka Fine Arts Camp and Outer Coast with Frank yeah. Ecker, class of 2019. Great. Um, just saying so hello to some coworkers <laughs> that are walking around. Um, it is lunchtime currently on campus, um, and uh, uh, all of our staff and students eat together for lunch every day. Um, we may see some students as we're walking around here, but um, yeah. Awesome. Now, how many students come to Outer Coast in a session, Frank? Yeah, so uh, in the current moment, Outer Coast runs a, a summer session for high school students um, and a year-long gap year program for recent high school graduates. Um, at each of those programs, we have uh, between 15 and 20 students, um, and the majority of those students come from the state of Alaska. Um, okay. we're really, we really want to emphasize being accessible to, to Alaskans, but also um, really open to perspectives uh, and, and students from around the lower 48 and, uh, and around the world. Um, so yeah, our, our current makeup of students come from, uh, gosh, everywhere from um, Anchorage to uh, Washington, California, um, Ohio, kind of all over, all over the map. Um, so yeah. And apparently they don't leave, right? <laughs> right. right. <laughs> you uh, stuck around. Yeah, I think I think the story for a lot of folks um, uh, and a lot of the other Yaleys that I know in, in Sitka is, is uh, they, they come for you know a nine month fellowship and then really just fall in love and and don't leave. Um, and it's been, I don't know what's yeah. not to fall in love with. I'm gonna show everybody over to our right, right behind the building that Frank calls home for his office. The beautiful mountain background. What's really interesting about Sitka since I've been here is not only all of the Yale connections, but the amazing weather patterns. <laughs> we are actually in a break from the rain right now, which is kind of nice because we get to show you guys around unencumbered. But it has rained on and off, lending a way to the sun so that we can see some of the mountains and some of the islands here in Sitka, which again is home to about 25 or so Yaleys, both alumni, parents, PhDs, postdocs. It's a really wonderful community, not only <laughs> of the people who live here, but with Yale presence, and it's really exciting. Mm -hmm. So what's to the right, Frank? Tell us a little bit about this building. Yeah, this is the Otis Theater, um, and uh, another space that really comes alive in the summer, especially for fine arts camp. Um, all sorts of um, performances and exhibits and things going on in there. There's a beautiful stage um, and uh, all sorts of all sorts of things. So another kind of big performance space, which we use sometimes too um, on campus. Um, yeah, and you're kind of looking out down this direction at uh, at Sitka and the harbor and the mountains and the ocean. Um, Are you guys ready for this view? I'm gonna yeah, turn I, now. I, I was I had the camera on you. <laughs> so ready, everybody. This is your view from the top of the hill at Sitka Fine Arts Camp, out into the bay. Correct, bay. Uh, is that sound, the right turn? The, the sound. sound. Sitka Sound. Sorry, everybody. Isn't this a beautiful place? And in the foreground there, in that kind of white looking building is the Sitka Sound Science Center, where the current Yale parent is the executive director and they are doing a lot of science and ocean, ocean research and we look forward to working with them in the future. Incredible Yale connections here, everybody. We are just so excited to be here in Sitka, part of the Yale Club of Alaska. And actually, I didn't bring this up earlier, Frank, but mm -hmm. I have to now, uh, Frank, <laughs> Poor Frank. We've never done this in person, so this is so fun. Um, Frank has recently agreed to become a Yale volunteer. So will you tell everybody a little bit about what you're doing now as part of Yale Club of Alaska and helping Yaleys in Alaska? Yeah, absolutely. So I am the uh, incoming director for the Alumni Schools Committee for the state of Alaska. Um, in my time at Yale, uh, in my senior year at Yale, I was an interviewer for the Yale Admissions Office. It was my job. I interviewed like 120 uh, aspirational valuable and wanted to continue doing it. Um, so I, I was an interviewer uh, in Colorado for my first couple of years um, uh, after graduating and then um, stepped into this uh, director role here in the state of Alaska and I'm just so um, excited 
to be yeah an advocate for for applicants from the state um, and to, to kind of help coordinate interviews and, and can uh, forge connections between um, prospective students and, and alums. So i awesome. um, really excited for that work. We're so grateful for all of our volunteers, of course. And you happened, you mentioned earlier that there was someone that influenced you to get involved with the Alaska Fellows Program. Mm-hmm. Will, t- will you tell everybody who that was? Sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, Taylor Holzhauser, uh, who I hope sees this, um, yes. who is our, our uh, director for the state of Alaska for the Yale Club. Um, uh, yeah, was a good friend in college, was also in Saybrook, uh, class of 2018, um, and continues to be a good friend here in the state. So. And Taylor, like Frank said, is the new president of the Yale Club of Alaska. So we look forward to working with him to getting some great activities here in Alaska. And, you know, since I'm like on location for the first time, <laughs> everyone has said to me, you know, is there really that much of a Yale presence in Alaska? And the truth of the matter is, yes, we have a wonderful contingent of Yaleys in Alaska, almost 500 people. So we have a wonderfully active club here. If you are watching and you are in Alaska or you are visiting, in Alaska. I encourage you to reach out and connect with the Yale Club of Alaska. We have Yaleys doing amazing things everywhere and we love the opportunity to highlight them. And this is just such a great time to be able to stop by Sick of Fine Arts Camp where we have some wonderful Yale connections. Their theater director is a Yaley class of 2013. His name is Zeke. He was camera shy today, but I did get to meet him and talk to him about his work at Sitka Fine Arts. And we really look forward to partnering with many organizations here in Alaska that have Yale connections. So really excited to be with all of you today and to show you this beautiful place and for you to meet Frank. Frank, what is your favorite place on campus before we say goodbye? Do you have a favorite spot? Oh gosh, Uh, so many. Um, Ah, uh, this is going to be kind of, this is my sound lame, but I'm actually going to say the Saybrook Dining Hall. There was a particular table in the Saybrook Dining Hall where I would get up every morning and eat breakfast and do the New York Times crossword with my friends. And it was just, I have so much affinity for, for that, that space. So, yeah. We love our Yale campus, don't we? <laughs> All right. Now, before I really, really let you go, mm-hmm. tell everyone, will you tell everyone a great like Alaska experience story? Maybe even what happened to you the other day when you were out climbing? Uh, sure. Sure. Well, I was I was telling Stephanie uh, the other day about my uh, most recent bear experience, but I think my first bear experience is probably the most uh, dramatic, um, which involved the first time I went down to a place called Readout Falls, which is where a lot of people go to dip net fish um, for subsistence. Um, I was down there with two good friends of mine and uh, our friend who was driving the boat. Um, we were down by the we were down by the shore, and we were dip netting for salmon. And there were a couple of bears who were also getting their salmon. <laughs> they were dip diving um, for salmon too. <laughs> you know, they were doing their own thing. Um, but uh, my friend, uh, we went to leave, and he put his key into the ignition of his boat, and the key snapped off in the ignition, uh, and we had to paddle out of Readout Falls uh, with bears on the shore and a tote full of dead fish. Uh, and my, my parents really didn't enjoy my retelling of that story nearly as much as I did when I told them. So, um, but we were all alive and well. Bear and, stories uh, are good to tell after the fact, not exactly in the moment, yeah. I can imagine. Yeah, for sure. So this has been an absolute pleasure to be here with you, Frank, and to be on campus at Sitka Fine Arts Center. I'm going to give everybody just another real quick kind of 360 look at where we are standing right now. Again, we're at the Sitka Fine Arts Camp. I think I said that wrong a second ago. Um, In Sitka, Alaska, where we have about 25 Yaleys, Yale Club of Alaska is live and well. And I love being able to show all of you the vibrant, life after Yale and to share the stories of the Yaleys who make up our Yale club. So I'm just going to flip the camera around so that Frank and I can say goodbye to you together. So again, this is Stephanie live on location in Sitka, Alaska. It has been a pleasure being here with all of you today for another Yale Alumni Live telling the stories of our Yaleys and this time in person on location. So if you are traveling, if you are a Yaley, get involved with your local club. If you're traveling to a beautiful place like Sitka, Alaska, reach out and meet the Yaleys who are here. They're awesome. They're amazing. This is a beautiful place. Thank you all so much for being here with us. We'll see you soon. Thanks, folks. Bye. Bye.